Hi, I'm Simone from Voyager, and let me tell you, women rock. I am the fire, I am burning brighter, I'm rolling like a shark, I am the fire. Predominantly, when it's been women in the past, it's all been about their looks, it's not been, and it's annoyed me to no end. <laughs> it's like, you know, hottest women in medals, like, <sighs> What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's been a long, long journey, uh, and it, yeah, it was it was hard to to, to begin with. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, I experienced a lot of difficult situations in the industry from from all walks as well it wasn't even just like particularly like it was audience or or fan members or anything like that but just people in the industry in general um when i first started playing i was only like 14 or 15 and there was a hell of a lot less people <laughs> Um, in bands, women, should I say, in bands back then. I mean, I, I think there was maybe only one or two other uh, women playing in Perth here in Western Australia. Um, so it was, it was, it was hard. You know, I felt like I constantly had to prove myself. Probably didn't help that I was an angry teenager going through puberty as well. So I had a real chip on my shoulder about it because you'd constantly get guys coming up to you, oh yeah, you're pretty good for a chick. And it just used to infuriate me because it's like the arts is is one thing, was one industry where, you know, it doesn't really matter. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you have between your legs to do art, you know, it's it comes from here. Um, so it was just, you know, you, it's not like a strength thing. Like, you know, you could say, oh, working in trade, oh, okay, men have more strength than women. That's just a, that's just fact, but not in art. And they're going, oh, you're pretty good for a chick. Or, you know, you'd get, oh, I can't believe you can do that. Or um, one, one particular moment that sticks in my head and I, I'll keep it kind of generic as possible because I don't want to, I have nothing bad against the person that this happened with. We ended up becoming really good friends afterwards. But um, one example, just to kind of put it in context, I was playing a show in Hamburg years ago. This would have been when I was first touring with, with Voyager uh, with, this, uh, with an American band. And we did the show and the, well, the guitarist in the band was just like, talking to me like I had no idea what the hell a guitar amp was, a pedal, anything. He's like, we basically like, oh, can we, we had to borrow their gear, you know, because we're not going to carry amps and cabinets and stuff there. And he's like, it was a Marshall um, amp. And he's going, this channel on red does this and this orange. And he's talking to me like I'm a child. And he's like, yeah, and if you do this, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I work in a music store back home. I like sell these, like, it's cool. Like I know how to use it, yeah. And he's like, Ugh, and talking to me like this. And then <laughs> we were sound checking after they sound checked and I just was kind of like, we started kind of noodling, kind of ripping it up. And the guy's just like, and then after that, he was like, yeah, I'll just get just my buddy Simone, like, all the time. And I was just like, oh, like, you could have just been like this from the start. Like, uh, you know, that's just a very minor, not like, not one where it was like a salt or anything like that, but just an example of kind of like what you kind of put up with in there or like people expecting that you're doing the merch you know, or you're a girlfriend of the band's members and it's just like, God, have we not got past that, you know? Like, like my bandmates are fantastic, you know, I can't, I can't fault them. They, they've always had my back and stuff, but they're never really going to understand, really. They can see it and go, that's crap, you know, and, and be angry about it, but to feel it is a completely different thing and to experience it. Yeah, it's, it, it's been difficult. It's been a long, long road. <laughs> oh, 
for my sort of timeline being a teenager, the person who I went, wow, okay, this is sick. This is someone who's into kind of more extreme stuff. Um, Cause I was into more kind of heavier music when I was um, playing heavier music before I joined Voyager, I was in like a thrash metal band. Um, was Angela Gosso from Arch Enemy. So when I saw her actually just being herself and it wasn't just like, just a sex object, not that there's anything wrong with that, because I, I think, you know, if you feel comfortable doing that, that's great. But let's be real, to no end. <laughs> it's like, you know, hottest women in metal. It's like, what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you don't get that with men in the, like, it's very small if they do do it. It's mainly, you know, best vocalist or best guitarist or, and we get hottest woman, you know, it's just, Oh, so, but she was the first one where I looked and went, whoa, she's, she's, she's strong, she is ferocious, um, you know, and, and that was like really empowering to see that. And I was like a massive Arch Enemy fan as well, like even before she joined the band. So I was just like, this is, this is sick. So she was probably the first person where I went, okay, I could probably, there's, a, there's an opportunity to actually do this, like, um, and actually get somewhere maybe with it um, because you know it feels a bit pie in the sky at first <laughs> you're like is, you know you're climbing and climbing like is this worth it like can I do this and then just a little bit of a ray of light like that can just kind of oh okay and I was only probably 17 I think 16 or 17 when that album came out just trying to think what age I was. Yeah, I would, it couldn't have been much more than 18. I was young, like, so, yeah, it was a real turning point for me. Playing Download in Australia and the UK was amazing. That was, like, a massive thing. Uh, touring with Deftones as well was another we did a tour uh, and Carnival as well, which was just, that was probably one of the best tours we've ever done, like in terms of just the bromance going on between all the bands um, and also just the vibe, like not even just the bands, it was the crew as well. Like everyone just got on so well. We all helped each other. We were all mates, good vibes, great music every night, great turnouts. You know, it was, and, and just spinning out, just like, I'm, I'm hanging out talking with Steph here, man. Like, it's just like, I used to listen to the Deftones, like, when I was in my teens. And then Steph is saying, oh, man, are you guys playing Summer Always Comes Again? That's my jam. And we're just like, what? <laughs> it's like, That's your jam? The ballad tune? Wicked. <laughs> what a legend. Um, so that was probably, yeah, massive highlight. Um, but also, recently, uh, I got in the top 10 uh, last year of uh, top guitarists in the Reader's Poll in Prog Magazine. And I was just like, I know that seems like such a, you know, awards and things like that, you know. But I used to read all these magazines when I was a kid, you know, Metal Hammer and, you know, a lot. It's funny, the guys will laugh at me when I'm like, oh, you know, Malcolm Dome did a like a live review on, on Metal Hammer. Because I'm like, he was like a massive, he used to do all the famous reviews, like when I used to read Metal Hammer when I was a teenager. So then, you know, when these things happen and you get voted in these polls in these magazines, it's like, yeah, I get it, it's a popularity thing and that, but it's more just like, wow, I've been recognised by my peers and I'm alongside peers that i really look up to you know there was people from Opeth and like Devon Townsend and stuff on the list and you're like I'm in the top 10 with these guys like so that was that was um especially co considering like I've had some health issues recently like getting that news last year was like yeah it was really cool put a big smile on my face like um yeah so it's little things like that sometimes can even outshine like a massive tour as well so yeah. Well, just to stick with it is the, the hardest thing. Um, it, it can be tough. The other thing is just getting a good group of friends 
or colleagues or however close you want to be with them that are also into music because there's nothing more inspiring uh, and, no and nothing that makes you more determined than having the right people around you as well to kind of lift you up. Um, I was very lucky. I, I didn't have any, like, like I said before, I didn't have any female kind of people, but I had a lot of really good male role models um, locally that were just super supportive and, um, you know, weren't, weren't afraid to, to take a chance on you because they could see that you've got talent to, to do things. So they're the people you want to grab onto, the people that believe in you and just learn as much as you can from them, like jam with them, ask them questions, like never be afraid to get together with some people and just have a play, even if they're like 10 times better than you, you know, I, I, you, you feel intimidated. If you found someone that is a nice person who wants to be that support for you, you grab onto that with both hands because that is just so priceless. Um, it's so priceless moving forward. Um, never let a guy ever say you're good for a chick as well. If a guy says that to you, bloody tell him to rack off <laughs> and say, was between my legs doesn't affect how I play. Because that sentence, if I have to hear that, if I got a dollar for every sentence, I'd be a millionaire for that. And it's just so dismissive and I hate it. So never, ever let anyone say that to you. Don't be afraid to be a little bit strong uh, as well. But it doesn't mean you have to be, you can't be a bit soft as well. I think, I wish I had been a bit softer as well when I was younger, because I had a real angry chip on my shoulder and I wish I hadn't have been a bit, I wish I'd been a bit less like that. Might be a bit easier for people now because it's a lot more inclusive these days. I mean, I'm really happy about that for young people that it's so much more inclusive, but yeah, don't lose yourself and don't let yourself get like too bitter from from things that go on in the industry because the industry is tough anyway for boys and girls um concentrate on the positive stuff because there's a lot of not so great stuff in the industry for everyone we know we've really just begun